Hey everyone, welcome back to Bucky's Customs. Today I'm going to do a review on the 12 inch disc sander from Harbor Freight and you're going to want to stay tuned for this. Hey, today I'm going to show you a tool review, and I haven't done one in a while. Last one I did, I think, was on a joiner, a Craftsman joiner, which I really, really still love. Gave a good review on it, and I honestly still love it. I use it quite often. I'm going to do a review on a sander today. I've been uh, contemplating getting a disc sander and I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg on one specific tool. One tool that only does one thing, but unfortunately I found that I really needed it in order to do what I wanted to do here in the shop and it will help me out a lot. And seeing how I have my shop in my basement now instead of in my garage where I was freezing all the time, I wanted to make sure that I had good dust collection for this and, and the reviews were pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've got and we're going to do a quick unboxing and review. Okay, this sucker is heavy, but this old man just picked it up. Okay, so first thing in the box here is couple pieces of sandpaper and when I say a couple I mean two one looks like a maybe a 60 grit and the other one looks like a hundred grit but and the instruction manual so I'm gonna set these aside and get this thing unwrapped this is uh, put together pretty good in the box with styrofoam and We go that's pretty solid actually I was I'm surprised all right I'm just gonna roll it out and get this styrofoam off here And we're going to roll it again this way. Would not recommend you do it this way, but I like tools that are 90% put together when you get them. And this kind of kind of is together. So and it is heavy. Holy moly, is this thing heavy. It has a uh, adjustment for this table and does have a uh, tensioner on both sides. The reason why I decided to go with this, was there's two reasons. The price it was $170. Anything that uh, with this kind of heft and size, I would have paid at least twice as much. I was kind of looking at the Rikon, but uh, you know, I just couldn't. I just couldn't pull the trigger on that. I like Rikon tools. I like Laguna tools. As as you can see, I have a couple of them in the shop. I've got a bandsaw and a, and a drum sander, but I just could not see spending this kind of money on. Just couldn't do it and I know there's other people out there that feel the same way I do so you're not alone um, second reason is the dust collection this got a decent review it's got a two inch port and or a two and a quarter inch port and it appears 
to be very well put together as far as um, being able to handle the dust, which is key for me down here. I really need good dust collection. I'm at the age where I need to breathe clean air, so I don't want to really create, uh, well, we're all at, <laughs> no matter what our age is, we need to breathe clean air, but I'm really, really going to try really hard to keep the dust down in my shop, and I needed to have tools that would help me do that, so that's why I went with this instead of a multiple type of situation with a belt and everything attached. I kind of like the fact that it's large. I can add to the table if I need to. Now I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it and all that. But first things first, we'll get it tested. Okay, so I've plugged it in. It's 110 volt and it says, excuse me, 120 volt. 1.25 horsepower, one and a quarter horsepower, and I'm hoping that it will do what I want it to do and have enough ass, more or less, to do what I want it to do. So I'm going to turn it on so you can hear what it sounds like when, it, when it's running. Are you ready? Now, according to my camera, the amount of decibels was about 40, which is pretty good for an electric tool. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit louder when you're sanding with it or using a shop vac if you need to do that. It's not bad. 40 decibels is not bad. So I think what I'm going to do is turn my dust collection on. I've got a couple of cutting boards that I want to round the edges on and kind of do some sanding on, so we'll get started with that. Okay, let's get started. Turn this thing on. didn't show you was in the beginning I checked the marks on the table and lined them up with the zero and it came out perfect right from the factory. Okay, um, dust isn't too bad. It's not what I had hoped. There's no question, these things will take off your finger for sure. They do a phenomenal job. I probably could have used a uh, finer grit. This is probably the 40 or 60 grit, maybe even, maybe 60 grit. But um, it works really well. Uh, I, this is a piece of uh, Cypress, but... I'm really curious to see what it would do if I really jammed in some hardwood. I don't think it's going to stall, but uh, it didn't even falter, you know, or die down at all with this, which I didn't expect it to, but it takes off the material that I wanted to take off. I'm excited about 
having it so that I can make some jigs so that I can get nice crisp corners on my cutting boards and I like using this because it's quick and easy. I'm not really sure on the dust collection though. I've got my shop back hook up here. I'm going to try that and see if that does any better. So let's, let's check that out. Not really sure on the dust collection. It's throwing it out there pretty good and there's dust all over the place. So a little disappointed in that. It really uh, it really did throw the dust around and I'm a little concerned about that. We'll have to take a look. Maybe there's something I can do to improve it, but I really don't see anywhere I could improve it right now. Uh, unless I build a little shroud or something here, but I mean it just it's all over the top of it and You know with as much as I took that down I'm thinking it Really didn't do too bad. I guess I was like, hoping for for a total dispersal of it, but uh, that didn't happen. So Okay, let's recap here. I really pushed hard on this and it didn't it didn't stall it's got a pretty uh, aggressive grit paper on it and it did not stall so I will give it an A on that I, I think I think I got my money's worth out of this despite the disappointment in dust collection there's some things I could do probably to improve it if I do anything at all to it I will be sure to show you what I've done but right now I would say all in all it was worth the money and I would highly recommend it to uh, to anyone out there that's looking for a 12 inch disc sander I mean it does give you a lot of surface area and the table is aluminum it seems very heavy and sturdy it stayed in place it tightens down real easy I may put bigger knobs but other than that, I like it. I like it a lot. What comes with this is you get three uh, grades of paper. One is on here. I believe these are, I think this is a 60 grit, this is an 80, and this is a 100 grit, I believe. One thing that I'm going to highly recommend that you get is one of these abrasive cleaning sticks. I got this one on Amazon from Power PowerTech. What that does is that just takes, keeps your, your disc clean, helps you clean it up, and makes your, your sanding paper last a lot longer. So make sure that you get one of these with your tool. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and make sure you ring the bell because you will get notified whenever I post a video. Now keep in mind, subscribing doesn't cost you anything. So give it a shot, take a chance on watching this channel, and hopefully you won't be disappointed and you'll stick around. So I really, really appreciate everyone, all your support. So thank you, thank you again, and be safe out there.